Welcome to study session 6, Locating Information Science in Disciplinary Space. Introduction In this study session, you shall describe the current subject focus of information science in relation to other disciplines and as a starting point of effort, we should strive to define an appropriate curriculum for information science. You will attempt to locate information science in disciplinary space in terms of how its subject focus is related to, coupled with, and or borrows or applies knowledge from other disciplinary fields. Furthermore, you will highlight the need for information science as a discipline. Learning outcomes. At the end of this study session, you should be able to explain the disciplinary focus of information science discuss the need for information science. Disciplinary focus of information science. In his introduction to the first volume of the Annual Review of Information Science and Technology in 1966, Carlos Caldra noted the controversy then surrounding the disciplinary focus of information science. He noted the differing emphasis of various groups of information scientists who either saw their field as glorified library science or in terms of machine manipulations of linguistics, pictorial or numeric data, or as a distinct field dealing largely with the processing and or analysis of scientific and technical documents, or as a behavioral field focusing on interpersonal communication, of which both computer and document handling methods are important but limited aspects. Respectively, there were the institutional, library, machine, computational documentation, and human communication views of information science. Today, the question of the subject matter of information science is still controversial, although most of its practitioners are now inclined to support the views also noted by Kodra that information science is a generalized information discipline whose principles have been and are being distilled and synthesized from the more specialized disciplines of library science, computer science, documentation science, and communication arts. As a young discipline, information science is still evolving. Here and subsequently, we shall attempt to paint what appears to be the current location of information science in disciplinary space by examining the extent to which information science presently overlaps, synthesizes, or applies the subject matter of other disciplines. Scientists often speak of an information life cycle of sequential processes through which information might undergo creation, organization, storage, retrieval, dissemination, presentation and use. Information science being an attempt at synthesizing these disciplines and many others seek to provide a broader and more generalized understanding of all human communication and information processes and systems. Disciplinary units from the perspective of the relations between knowledge generation and professional practice between academia and professionals Convergence between thought and action should be indissoluble, at least partially or in varied ways, according to the areas of knowledge and practice of library and information science. You believe this is the first level of fragmentation, and you are glad that this conference addresses this as a theme to be studied and debated. It never ceases to amaze us that you as scholars and professionals of information and knowledge processes present this weakness. The articulation of university research in library and information science with other university functions, teaching and extension. A second level of fragmentation, stronger or weaker depending on university policies, may occur following the degree of the relation between the three functions that are considered the pillars of university work, research, teaching and extension. Knowledge generation is not always linked to teaching and university extension in such a way that an enriching bidirectionality may exist for both students and society. 
It is frequent for library and information science researchers, as well as for their peers in other disciplines, not to practice as teachers. This hinders the flow of research experiences, as well as a bigger enthusiasm for research. Even more, it hinders the development of professionals with a research and innovative attitude on their working areas. In this sense, we feel there is a need to approach the complex processes of teaching, research and extension with an integrative, real and deep perspective. Articulation between the three university functions is favored by a theoretical and methodological approach to action research in library and information science, especially when developed in the information and society area. This kind of approach is characterized by a sustained reflection on the reality studied, not only to know of it, but also to transform it together with the target community, subject object of research that participates of the different stages and appropriates the results. The approach of research problems as facilitators or barriers for disciplinary units the desirable convergence between information disciplines theory and practice depends mostly on the approach of research problems, both in their selection as in their theoretical and methodological approach. In this process, it is important to become aware of the theory supporting the approach, overcoming the attachment to reality required of library and information science, knowledge to solve more pragmatic issues may be one of the best ways to overcome the aforementioned. Fragmentations is through the solution of information problems from interdisciplinary views with a strong anchorage in the subject objects of research in a collaborative way with the target community. Library and information science articulation aimed at promoting information public policies. A fourth aspect to take into account is the direct connection between the existence of a strong and professionally consolidated discipline and the promotion of information public policies. As we have already mentioned, it is crucial to overcome fragmentations between academia and the professional community because this is the essential bridge to the social environment and the relationship with governmental actors. It is incumbent on them the inclusion in the public policies agenda of plans and programs related to access and use of information. The discipline grows through them, generating new knowledge and practices. Review of professional practices and research experiences towards an integrative and interdisciplinary view. A dialogue with the accumulated work and knowledge in 30 years of professional practice and research with others. As you mentioned at the beginning of this presentation, in this second part, we review and discuss the aforementioned ideas in light of our experience in library and information science research projects since 1990 to date with a history since 1979. The need for information science. Information science as a discipline aims to provide a body of information that will lead to improvement in the various institutions and procedure dedicated to the accumulation and transmission of knowledge. There are in existence a number of such institutions and related media. This include books for packaging knowledge, schools for teaching the accumulated knowledge of many generations, libraries for storing and disseminating knowledge, movies and television for the visual display of knowledge, journals for the written communication of the latest technical advances in specialized fields and conferences for the oral communication of knowledge. These institutions have served and continue to serve very useful functions, but they are inadequate to meet the communication needs of today's society. Some of the factors that contributed to their inadequacies are the tremendous growth in science and technology and the accelerated pace at which new knowledge becomes available. The increased specialization which makes communication and exchange of information among disciplines very difficult. As a result of these pressures, the either two methods for exchanging information without information science have been found wanting. 
if communication and information exchange procedures are not improved, all other scientific work will be impeded, and the lack of communication will result in duplication of effort and a slowing of progress. Therefore, the importance of information science and the reasons for the current emphasis upon this discipline cannot be overemphasized. Summary In this study session, you have learned the following. 1. Disciplinary focus of information science Different emphasis of various groups of information scientists who either saw their field as glorified library science or in terms of machine manipulations of linguistic, pictorial, pictorial or numeric data or as a distinct field dealing largely with the processing and or analysis of scientific and technical documents or as a behavioral field focusing on interpersonal communication of which both computer and document handling methods are important but limited aspects. 2. The need for information science. Information science as a discipline aims to provide a body of information that will lead to improvements in the various institutions and procedure dedicated to the accumulation and transmission of knowledge. There are in existence a number of such institutions and related media. End of study session 6. Thanks for listening.